Hello again. Um, I was. Seems my cats have uh, knocked down some of my goodies in the background. I thought I'd give something of um, my little review space a bit of a background, so I just crowded a bunch of stuff that I really like back there. I know I'm weird, um, but as of right now, I wanted to do a little bit of a review about my Marvel Legends figure of Phantom X. So, um, I don't normally collect a whole lot of Legends figures because I am way too far behind to afford um, pretty much the entire line. So, you know, I might as well just kind of grab pieces here and there that really interest me. And one of them is Phantom X. Um, very cool looking guy all around. Um, got his little trench coat, his little X gear. He comes with a extra arm, which I am going to be sending to a friend. I believe he wanted that piece. So that's pretty cool. Um, you see the box. He's shooting bullets on it. Let me pick this up here. There he is. And from the side, we've got a lot of the other characters, Drax, um, Madame Mask, Madame Hydra, also known as Viper, and Big Time Spidey down below. On the back, we've got the Arnim Zola series, Phantom X, sorry about the glare. And down below, the mysterious Phantom X, villain or hero, only he can decide. Got the build a figure, Arnim Zola, Cowled Deken, Thunderball, um, Captain America, Drax, Phantom X, Madame Mask, Spidey. That is them already. So I'm going to open this bad boy up in just a moment. There is the barcode, which unfortunately for me doesn't really show up too well with everything maybe right there but be back briefly I'm trying to uh, not ramble on in my things um, also wanted to note that if you're wondering how to say um, the tag name that I put up for myself it is Usagi Hime Usagi Hime so that means rabbit princess in Japanese so these are Usagi Hime's action figure review. So thank you, and just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Um, if you're wondering why I'm holding on to him, it's because he does not want to stand for me very well. I'm not the best uh, <laughs> at making Legends figures, especially ones with coats um, stand, Legend or Universe. So yeah, that's why he's a little <laughs> dorky looking. But uh, here he is, out of the box, and I really like his little coat. It's very mobile. He's got two holsters on his belt, so I can put those guns in if I want. And doesn't really seem to move too much, if at all. He's got your basic... Uh, back and forth and waist mobility on his upper torso. Um, for the side, we've got your normal range of motion for Hasbro, the arm up and down, and the upper arm movement. We've got the wrist moves in circles not up and down though he's got a nice little gun he got his head what you gonna do punk sorry <laughs> um, moves all the way up and down to the side very nice and you probably heard my phone go off because somebody is bugging me probably 
my buddy Ed. And, oh, actually, you know what? His wrist does move back and forth. I'm incorrect. So that's actually kind of cool. Even better. From the back, we've got a nice little uh, swizzle design. He's got them all over his body. You can see the outline of an ear on him. For his legs, you can kind of move all over the place, which is neat. He's got the upper leg mobility and uh, the lower, I'm assuming. Maybe, maybe not. So, maybe not there, but at the ankle for sure. And then, of course, up and down on the foot. I would love to stand him here for you for the rest of my discussion, but I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. That works. Um, as I said, this arm is going out to somebody, but this comes with him, so I'll just describe it a little bit. Goes to Arnim Zola, the build a figure, and um, I'm guessing, I've been told that there's two color variations of this, like a dark one and a light one, so this is the light one. I got this guy in the second revision of the, or release, or whatever they call it, for him. So, he comes with a little instruction guide as to how to build him. Um, Spider-Man doesn't come with any pieces. Um has a little X mark for Phantom X because that's the piece I got for him. And uh, Arnim Zola. I know he's a weird looking dude. Um, you know, I'm not as familiar with him. I know he works with the Masters of Evil and maybe AIM. Um, and if not AIM, then uh, Hydra. Or both. So, I'm not too familiar with his character at all. I just know he's a bad guy. He got a nice picture of Beast on here. Um, for some reason they linked his story to Beast. Um, not too sure why, but whatever. It's got a cool picture of Beast in his little uh, less than kitty form. And secondly, before I finish up, I wanted to also bring in a couple other things. Um, I recently got this guy in the mail. This is Sergeant Frog character, Girodo. Once again, I've mentioned that he is my favorite. Um, this is one of the faces you can put on him, and uh, it actually looks very wrong because uh, if I turn him around, I, yeah, you stick it up his butt, basically. <laughs> so it actually kind of makes sense for the face that he's giving, but he also comes with another face. Um, which I will put up real quick, his bodily pieces. He comes with a gun, and I think the guy that sent him to me broke off a piece in his hand. If not, then maybe he had two, and um, that's another piece. Because from what I can tell, my gun looks okay. It doesn't look like anything broke off from it, but I don't know. If anything, it would be that piece, but it's there, and it doesn't look broken, so I don't really know. And finally, you can switch out his head. So instead of that, you got that. So, my cute little fog froggy friend from Sergeant Frog, which I do very much like. And finally, I've got two other things to show. I've got a character, Baroness, from G.I. Joe. There is a reason I bought her. I don't collect Joes, but I'm going to transform her into maybe a figure version of myself. Um, I don't want that to be like narcissistic or anything, but it's just she's got glasses, and that way I can put myself with my people in my own little way like I'm part of their world so um, 
hope that doesn't sound too, I don't know, weird. And finally, I've got a Storm Shadow Joe. As you can tell, I'm sure you can guess what my plans are for him. Um, ideally, I would transform him just as is into my friend here. But uh, if you notice, the Joe body doesn't really... I, I looked at it again today and I noticed that it doesn't fit with the Marvel Universe style. So I will at least be taking the coat and the head for sure. And of course the weapons. Um, I guess maybe Phantom X is more of a gun user. So maybe the swords aren't going to really fit too well. But it is what it is. And I need to find a more suitable body for him because, as we can tell, this one has pants over the boots, and this guy here has boots at the bottom. He needs a belt and holsters and gloves with his arm. Um, obviously, like I said, the torsos really don't match too much, as well as the lower half of the body, so... I'm going to have to find something that kind of fits and work with that, but there they are, and once I get my act together, I will show you, hopefully, a decently finished project. Um, this will be my first custom between him and the Baroness over there, so wish me luck. And I've already got some of the paints that I need, but I need to get a bit more. And of course the body to suit Phantom X. So, thanks for watching again. Um, stay tuned. To be continued, I've got some upcoming two-packs to review. So, I know I say, ah, I get nervous when I do these, so I say certain things a lot, but... Upcoming, I've also got a shocker review, um, and just to preview, I've got She-Hulk Wolverine, and Magneto Captain America, and finally for the DC fan that was asking, I've got a Supergirl, kind of evil version, corrupted. She looks really cool. I like her little cape, so I know I keep saying so, but um, that's it for tonight, and thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, Usagi Hime's reviews. Thank you.